you so much. I am so excited to be your host tonight to introduce the hilarious acts that are about to come up. Wow. I mean, performing for an audience again, it's... I mean, well, I guess technically I'm performing for um, my phone that's propped up on my bed, but I imagine that you're all here. And, and you're, uh, you know, not wearing pants. Uh, because it helps with stage fright. Or I guess in this case, uh, live stream fright. And face it, you're not wearing pants. And that's okay. And no one is. I gave up on pants a long time ago. 2020 fashion is all about, about chest up. Okay? You're great. I've actually learned a lot about myself during this whole quarantine. Uh, first lesson I learned was that I do not know how to spell quarantine. <laughs> I also learned what type of prisoner I would be. Uh, you know, you watch those TV shows and there's always like the scheming type and then there's the sleepy type and then there's the pacing around the cell all day long type. I'm a pacer. Yeah. I'm like walking around my apartment like, I gotta get my steps in. I, I don't I have enough steps. I didn't, I didn't reach my steps yet. Ah! I try to go outside for a walk, but people do not know how to social distance in these streets. Okay, I was on the sidewalk and people were in the middle coming, like, walk to the right side of the sidewalk. Who are these middle sidewalk walkers? Get out of my way! I guess social distancing really doesn't happen in New York very well, so I, uh, I guess we're just settling for emotional distancing. All my millennial friends have been training for this epidemic since Nintendo came out. Who knew that spending hours in a dark basement playing video games would save the world? Well, that's about enough of my ranting. It is Friday night, and this is the Homemade Sketch Show! Pew, 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 pew! Pew, pew, pew! Enjoy.
Okay, Nelson, Eddie, Renee, Charles. Put away your phones. Time for a call de maison. With your mom, Celine. Let's get to work. Okay, we start by writing the date in English and in French. I don't know what the hell date it is. Google it. Okay, we are going to start with a little bit of biology. So, let me give you this. King Philip comes over for good spaghetti. I don't know why a king would go to anyone's house to just have a little spaghetti, but okay. This is the way that you remember something important. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. I know species, I don't know any of the other things. What the hell is a phylum? Okay, so as kids who live in Canada and Las Vegas and do not listen to the crazy mayor, you will need to know Fahrenheit and Celsius, okay? So you need to know how to convert. So look at this. We do the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 and then we multiply it by five over nine to get the Celsius. Okay, <laughs> some of my brain, whoa, explode. All right, so, you know, just, Use the calculator on the internet. You don't need to know how it's done. Okay, now it is time for some geometry. And this one is a little bit harder, so I'm going to sing it to simplify it for you. Don't look at me like that. Okay. There was a brilliant guy named Pythagoras. He taught us something cool about a hypotenuse. When you see triangles, a squared plus B squared is C squared. And that's the way it is. Yeah. A squared plus B squared is C squared. Also, the middle name of Elon Musk's baby, I think. Okay, boys, now we put away the books and I give you some advice. I know you are all wanting to date. And once we get let out of here, you are going to go crazy. So, I just want you to know this little thing. There's one thing to look for. Find someone who will share the door. Yeah, okay? Find someone who will share the door with you, not like Rose. She left Jack out in the cold and he drowned, all right? So make sure you find someone who will share it with you. That is all Mama has to say, and then I will be happy, all right? Ça va bien aller. See you next time for homeschool. Being a nurse during this whole pandemic is not that easy. It's a lot of hard work and we see a lot of really ugly things. But at the end of the day, coming home to my family where I can just relax makes it all worth it. Woohoo! My wife is a superhero. My family really understands everything that we're going through and they are so, 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 so supportive of everything that I am doing to save people right now. Woohoo! You make the germ squirm! And they make sure to tell me every chance that they get. I come home and it's not that exciting. I just like to kick my feet up and binge watch some shows and escape from the world. Today, in New York City, another 300 people died from coronavirus. The mayor praises the first responders for their hard work. My home is my oasis. Thanks, babe! It's my sanctuary. They leave me notes everywhere to show how much they care. I like to make myself something to eat. Nothing too crazy because I have to work in the morning. It's so sweet. Really helps me take my mind off of everything. You're my hero. Yeah, go, yeah, you got it. We're, we're doing okay. 
I, uh, I sometimes lock myself in my bedroom. Woohoo! Who needs a vaccine when they've got you? The latest shipment of masks hasn't come in for a week and a lot of people are getting sick of my floor, but I am okay. I'm really okay. I'm, I'm great. Couldn't be better. I swiped all these beds from the psych floor, so I'm good to go for a while. We've got this. We're all in this together and we're gonna make it through. So, uh, nothing really exciting. I have to head to bed because we have an early day in the morning. Uh, now they're out of the hospital. It's important that I get a good night's sleep so that I can get up and do it all over again. So uh, about to tuck her in. Good night. <sighs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> Oh, you're back! Each week, the Homemade Sketch Show features a new musical guest. Here with his song, Try, of the album Where the Sky Ends, I give you Michael Mott. Oh, you're back! Hi! I'm so happy to be joining you from my home studio in New York City. I'll be performing Try from my debut album, Where the Sky Ends. Oh,
Hi, I'm Tanya Perez with Agente Artist. I'm 5'3", I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx. What, what? <laughs> and I'm auditioning for Phone Actress on your website. Ooh. Yes, I know you said you wanted an audio file, but I wanted to show you what five and a half years of theater school training taught me. <laughs> Methodist Episcopal, Methodist Episcopal, hoopla, hoopla, Methodist Episcopal. It also said in your email that you were looking for saucy Latina accents, but I wanted to show you my range. Happy birthday, Mr. President. You look like a monkey. You smell like unto. Oh, you want to be treated like a bad boy, huh? Well, I'm going to wash your mouth with this soap and make you say three Hail Marys. Now go on with it. And I know you didn't ask me to sing, but I've been taking all these free music lessons on IG stories, and I figured, why not share my special skills? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and hello I got the phone actress part oh yay fantastic yes I'm willing to start right away Woo! mom I got the part yeah we have great internet and oh yeah I am willing to go all the way dirty bird is my middle name I do have one question. Is it union? Oh, so it's non-union. Sorry, I can't do it. My dearest love, it is with heavy heart that I pen this missive to you. I deeply wish that I could unload the fullness of my mind to you, but I fear my time here is short. The isolation of these past weeks has truly tested my measure as a man. I fear I have all but forgotten the smell of grass or the savory tang of an Olive Garden breadstick. My once well-manicured locks, of which you have oft spoken fondly, now more resemble the unkempt hedges of Central Park. I have received much counsel that there is no shame in playing the role of my own barber. I must confess that my pride along with an abiding fear of a truly meme-worthy failure, has thus far dissuaded me from the endeavor. Alas, I have lost the thread of my own missive. My love, I fear I have made a terrible miscalculation. As I have previously conveyed to you, I have made it my object in these perilous times to be sparing, both in my acquisitions and my travels. It is no small shame to admit how much I miss the familiar knock of an Amazon deliveryman or the fluorescent glow of a shopping mall corridor. That frugality may now be my downfall. In my adult state, I mistakenly believed I had sufficient provisions and gave into temptation with the consignment of a Taco Bell Chalupa cravings box. As my physic began to do as nature intended, I came to a horrific realization. Now time is short, and nary an Instacart courier may be found. I am left with little choice but to brave the plague-ridden world. I dearly wish for you to forgive me this lapse, and pray for my safe return. May the gods of Duane Reed smile upon me. I found a roll of toilet paper. Oh, thank God. Oh, wow. Free psychic reading. Hmm. Huh. I wonder how this works. Get your hands off this crystal. Oh, I'm sorry. I want a psychic reading.
Unfortunately, I can't see beyond your oily fingerprints on the crystal, but that suggested $20 donation bowl might bring some clarity. I believe you put it in the bowl. All right. What could Madame Zora's crystal ball do for you today? I want the Powerball numbers. Okay, then. I see you. You want that money. You want that beef for bands. Mula. Dinero. Do. Some of that cash. Bread. You want some of that green. Hey, that green money. All right. I'm all right here. Let me warm up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 56, 12, 47, 1, 51, Powerball, 10. I wasn't able to write that down. Do you have a pen? Now, how are you going to ask me that question and not be prepared? I shouldn't even have to repeat myself. Are you ready? I said 56, 12, 47, 1, 51, Powerball. 10, Powerball 10. Thank you. You're going to be as rich as the other 100 people who asked me what the Powerball was going to be. <laughs> Would you like a free psychic reading? Madame Zora's crystal ball here to tell you, keep your ass inside so that way in a few months we can go outside. Thank you. I know how it happens. I know how it starts. I know how this, this, this cheering starts in my neighborhood and I think in all the neighborhoods. Okay. Okay, it just turned seven officially though. There's a white girl that screams. She started it. They kick it off. She's taking it upon herself to decide that this 2020 COVID-19 pandemic is her moment. And so when 6.59 becomes 7 o'clock, she just lets it all out, you know? And if you don't have a white girl like that in your neighborhood, then you might hear. Yeah, I was able to track down my local white girl. Hi, I'm Tammy, <laughs> and I start the clapping at seven o'clock every night in my neighborhood in New York City. <laughs> I was a cheerleader in my first life, so you know, it comes naturally. <laughs> I was crowned Miss Mason County three times in a row because of my spirit and my big mouth. It's for the workers and all the first responders and everybody, but I just feel like it's really my doing. Like I really started it and I, I'm just so proud of myself. Yeah, New York! If it weren't for my local white girl, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I would hear some clapping. I'd be like, oh, they're watching Family Feud and it's loud and you know, good answer, good answer. But, um, because of the Oh, it's it's that time. I know exactly what time it is. So, thank you. That's right. You're welcome, New York. And you know that that white girl, she's a first responder too. Because she's first to woo and, and get it going. It's like good girls gone wild for first responders Woo! you know just like be wild they just hey. well that's it world wide web thank you so much for joining us for this episode of the homemade sketch show tune in each week on fridays at 6 p.m eastern time for a brand new show with new guests and new funny be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel join the watch party in our facebook group and catch sketches throughout the week on our instagram like comment and share to show us some love and spread some laughter during this crazy time if you liked our show, please donate at the link below to the platform group. 
at www.platformgroup.org forward slash donate. Platform is fiscally sponsored and all donations are tax deductible. Hey, hey. All of your contributions go to support the creators on the show tonight. And there is no better time than now to support the arts. Th thank you for watching. That's our show. Good night. Cheers.